So if you get an opportunity to carry out an interview um, and you're raising a particular problem, solutions-based journalism is where we're at. We were only hearing in a, in a session today uh, from the head of BBC Northern Ireland how the days of black and white and the, the, the two corners of the boxing ring and the opponents, that style of journalism is gone. People want solutions. So if there's a problem out there and your research is addressing it, come up with options to make sure that people will benefit from the research that you're carrying out. On the whole, people want to listen to positive interviews. You shouldn't really be going on to have a moan or a whinge. Have, you know, an argument that is well prepared, yes, and maybe hold people to account, absolutely. Those are the stories that, that do make it on the airwaves. Uh, but nobody likes listening to somebody having a whinge about a particular topic. Um, so try, if you can, to be positive and passionate in everything that you say. Well, a lot of times people uh, know what they want to say, but then the lights go on, they're in the studio, and the nerves kick in. But really, nerves are your friend. As a newsreader myself, I used to struggle with them a lot, but I reframed how I saw them and I said, you know what, I feel excited and passionate about my story. And those nerves keep you on your guard and stop bad things happening. So I suppose once we can get over ourselves um, and just prepare in advance your key messages, always stick to the actual goal that you want to achieve from the interview that you're carrying out, and remember that you're just talking to another human being. They're not any better or know, they don't know anything more than you do. You are the expert and you are also an expert in your field and you know your own story. So a top tip whenever you're talking to a journalist as well, if you're on air, it's not like a, a normal conversation. The journalist will ask you a question, but then they will be quiet and they will listen to you because they want a clean clip of you later to use in a bulletin or in a news report. So they won't give you those encouraging noises like you do in a normal conversation, like, mm -hmm, oh yes, oh, I've been there on my holidays too, or whatever it is. Um, but then that can make people feel a bit anxious because there are silences and you feel like you want to say more than you were going to initially. So really a good lesson is say what you're going to say and then zip it. The journalist will ask the next question. It's not your job to fill those gaps.